<laughs> God. What is this, dude? I just don't think the patty should be... It shouldn't have 90 degree angles. That's all I... I don't know. What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be trying the McRib for the very first time. In terms of appearance, this is probably the ugliest sandwich I've ever seen in my entire life. It does not look appetizing or appealing whatsoever in any way. But apparently it's back nationwide. Apparently this is an event. This is something that hasn't happened since 2012 and I figured, hey, 2012 was the last time that I was happy. So potentially we start 2021 off with trying the infamous McRib. Now, originally the plan was to like make this a vlog where I go and get the item, but it's like, hey Siri, what's the temperature outside? It's 37 degrees outside. It's 37 degrees outside and it's my day off and I don't feel like leaving the apartment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stimulate the local economy by paying way too much money to have McDonald's delivered to us. I really wanted to do like a cool scooter vlog here where I attach my GoPro to my scooter and we go. But the problem with that is I'm probably gonna get a soda and, 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 and there's gonna be a bag of food and how am I gonna carry a large soda on a scooter? Plus it's dark out and there's just, I'm making excuses, honestly. I'm a garbage YouTuber, let's be real. But regardless, let's Let's place the order because it's 6 30 p.m. right now I haven't eaten an actual meal in a, in a few hours I'm actually really hungry and I probably waited too long to film this I should have ordered it already like 30 minutes ago that way when I started filming this it would already have already been here or at least be close but whatever oh apparently it's actually a combo meal so let's go ahead and try the McRib combo meal we've got this is Grubhub open I'm not sponsored by any company that I talk about in this video we're gonna go for the large why not we'll get the fries and we obviously are going to get a Diet Coke because we care about our figure, which is why we're getting McDonald's. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this legendary sandwich, it's a boneless pork meat dipped in tangy barbecue sauce topped with onions and dill pickles served on a toasted home style bun, but it, it looks like dog food. Let's be real. It looks like dog food. So I'm going to order something else in case the McRib is trash. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw a McChicken into the order just in, just in case I can only stomach like half the McRib. Since when is the McChicken $2.99? Uh, back in my day, it was a dollar. So uh, damn government, damn inflation, damn it. So the total came to 1587. That's 1288 for the McRib meal, large mind you. 299 for the McChicken, total rip off. Total is 1587. Delivery fees, $3.49. Taxes and fees, whatever the fees are, is $3.45, so the total is $22.81, plus the tip brings the whole total up to like $27. 27 Oh my god. Do you know how many views I have to get for, for this video to pay for this meal? So many that it's not gonna happen. Just so we're clear, it's not gonna happen. All right, let's just place the order. I'm getting hungry. Okay, estimated delivery is between 7 and 7, 10 p.m., which means we have to uh, entertain ourselves for the next 30 minutes. Let's just talk about why this sandwich is so unappealing to me, okay? Just look at it for a second with your eyeballs. Just look at it, okay? It's a boneless pork sandwich, but it's shaped as if it did have bones, right? Like there's actual ribs in there, even though there's no bones, right? So what that means is they took pork and pork fat and they they molded it into a structure that's it, it 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 looks like it should have bones in it but it doesn't so what you end up with is a sandwich that not only is it the most artificial thing that i could think of but you anticipate there being a bone in there when you take a bite and and there's not going to be obviously you know that but i just i just don't like the thought but you know it's only here for a limited time so don't miss out so it's 7 13 which means it's late and i open up the app and it says uh estimated delivery between 7 25 and 7 35 I'm starting to think this is not worth the wait also uh it says in the works at 6 36 p.m which means they started making it 30 40 minutes ago so it's gonna be cold so i bet you it tastes really good when it's cold I like the stickers that McDonald's uses because it knows that people who order McDonald's and don't leave their house are just fat pieces of garbage like me. So uh, let's go ahead and warm this up because I'm sure it's freezing. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have an absolutely gourmet feast in front of us here. We've got it, the box, as it says right on the box, we've got the McRib, we got the fries. I don't have any 
ketchup or anything. I think that McDonald's fries taste best with just salt, and I'm also a psychopath who actually adds salt to McDonald's fries because I don't think they're salty enough. So commit me, I don't know. Then we've got the backup McChicken, okay? The backup McChicken, just in case. I don't know if the McChicken was necessary or not, but uh, I can smell the barbecue sauce. It smells really good. This is this is what we're working with here. This is, this is what, oh God. Let's take a closer look at this. Absolutely no care went into ensuring that uh, the integrity of the sandwich. <laughs> God, what is this, dude? Like, what is this? I don't even know what, what's happening right now. I feel like they just didn't put sauce over here. Like, they just they just put it on the container and not... I don't know, man. I'm just gonna shove this in my stupid didn't leave the house today mouth. All right, man. I just don't think the patty should be... It shouldn't have 90 degree angles. That's all I... I don't know. Let's give this a try. I keep feeling like like I know it's not bone like I know there's not bones in here but I feel like there's like cartilage or some like really low quality you know I'm not really sure what I expected I think my expectations were high because there's so much hype around this sandwich every time that it comes around so the sauce is decent for barbecue sauce it, it is the onions and the pickles are actually good. I like the combo. The bun, it, it's not, it's, it doesn't, I'm not, it, it doesn't make a difference, right? I don't, it's not like I'm saying, oh wow, like, thank God they use this bun, it really enhances the experience. Like it, it doesn't, it's just a bun, it, it's nothing special. But the meat is just insulting. I don't know, it's just, like, I, I really wish that the sauce, the onions, and the pickles were just on one of their burgers because then i would at least know what to expect this pork meat it's just not doing it for me let's get some of these greasy salt sticks mm, there's not enough salt i even added some in the room temperature at best <clears throat> oh, wait i got a little covid temperature gun let's see 103 nah you're lying Bro, that's impossible. 102.8, not a chance. You know, the problem is I actually love McDonald's. Like, I know a lot of people like to shit on McDonald's because it's just like the fastest, cheapest, low quality fast food out there. And if you're and if you're going to get chicken, you're probably going to go to like Chick-fil-A or Burger King or Wendy's, somewhere that just has better chicken than McDonald's. And if you want a burger, you're probably not going to go to McDonald's either. You'll probably go to like Wendy's or Shake Shack, In-N-Out. There's just a million other places that have better burgers. But for me, there's something about McDonald's that I actually really like their fast food. But but even for me, this is this is like a C tier item on their menu. I, it, it's like a five and a half out of ten at, at, on a good day. Maybe if this was hot, it would be a six. Well, I guess me and the sandwich have one thing in common. At least I can always rely on the McChicken. It's so humble. It's so simple. You can't mess it up. And honestly. The spicy version is even better. I don't know why they don't just make that a permanent thing. The trick with the McChicken, don't ever look at the lettuce. Don't even open the sandwich. Don't even look at the sandwich. Just, just don't look at it. Just just taste it. Somehow McDonald's sodas really are the best though. I, it's it's They never miss, right? They never miss. It's a known fact, undisputable. Their soda, whatever they do, I don't know. It's the best, it's perfect. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below telling me if you wanna see more content like this. I don't usually do this type of content, but I would like to start. So I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload a vlog style video. Social media accounts are all in the description below, so make sure you follow me over there on Instagram, Twitter, Discord, and everything else. With that being said guys, this has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.